Well, I don't really have any formal art training. I, my education is actually in science, biology, medicine. For several years, I worked as a medical technologist in a hospital lab. As my disability with my MS progressed, I became less able to do the work that I was hired to do in the lab. I decided I needed to explore other avenues to further my talents. So I decided that art could possibly be for me. When I saw someone's watercolors that I really admired, I knew right away that watercolor was for me and where I belonged. I began to take classes both in Illinois and here in Florida at the Dunedin Fine Arts Center. I think the most important thing is your attitude. I have a motto that goes, attitude is altitude. And I live by that every day because you have to develop a strong attitude and a positive attitude that, you know, this isn't going to be the end of your life. This is not going to kill you. This is not going to take away from making something of your life and using your skills that you have. I am a naturally born right-handed person, um, but the MS began to creep into my hand, my, especially my right hand. And I'm kind of ambidextrous anyway, so I decided that I would teach myself to paint with my left hand which I did. So now I am ambidextrous. I can paint with both hands, but I primarily paint with my left hand now. This year has been a really banner year for me because I won first place at the Dunedin Student Member Show this past spring. And then my other goal has always been involving with the Florida Watercolor Society, which is the statewide organization for watercolor and to improve and promote the medium. And so I've been a member of the Florida Watercolor Society for many years. Your goal is to get accepted three times into different shows. And once you achieve your third time, you become what is called a signature member, which means that the society allows you to after your signature on your paintings, you can write the initials FWS, standing of course for our Florida Watercolor Society, so that people who see your paintings and see your signature then know that you have achieved this goal and it's, it's really a big deal in the art world. I'm a big nature person and loved hiking and, and camping and being outdoors and so I became less and less able to do that. Therefore a lot of my inspiration from my art comes from nature in the natural world. I found ways to express my love for nature with my art rather than going out into it. It's an escape. The whole world goes away when I paint. I don't think about anything except concentrating on what I'm doing and I listen to music and the, the rest of the world completely goes away. So it's an escape in a lot of ways.